In my last video, I did a list of the worst kill streaks in Call of Duty history, and one of my commenters, the Shape Slayer, suggested doing the opposite. So, as someone who hates to disappoint, we're taking a look at the best kill streaks. These streaks elevated our KD ratio far beyond our capabilities, and it was never a good time for the enemy team when one of these were called in. So, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on another video, and follow me as I run down a list of the 10 best kill streaks in Call of Duty history. Number 10 The Harrier Strike. The Harrier was one part of the Holy Trinity of killstreaks in Modern Warfare 2. For 7 kills, or 6 if you ran hard mine, you could get yourself a one way trip to Nuketown. What you get is an airstrike, followed by one Harrier jet sticking around to mop up any enemies that weren't blown up. This jet has pinpoint accuracy, and even though it doesn't take much damage to destroy, good luck locking onto it with a stinger, because it'll take your aggression personally and leave you a bloody paste on the ground. This was the go to streak of any sweat in Modern Warfare 2. Paired it with the two other streaks we'll mention in this list, and you have the perfect recipe to destroy a lobby and cause a team to rage quit. As overpowered as the Harrier was, it was just the beginning of the end. It returned in future COD games even with an appearance in the latest Modern Warfare 2, but nothing could compare it to its OG days. Number 9 The Stealth Chopper Black Ops 2 had some of the best killstreaks of any COD game. It was pretty hard to not just make a full list of those ones, but I've decided to contain myself and pick a select few. First of which is the Stealth Chopper. This functioned as a normal attack helicopter, which in previous games was a beast in its own right. The difference with the Stealth Chopper was pretty much in its name, Stealth. When this was called in, the enemy team got no announcement for it, so all of a sudden they'd be attacked from the sky. They wouldn't know where the gunfire was coming from either, as the chopper didn't appear on the minimap. This meant that all those cretins running launchers would have to use their eyesight alone to try and destroy it. The chopper didn't make too much noise either, so you couldn't rely on sound cues to find out if you were about to be rinsed or not. It was basically like the movie Predator, only in the sky, and much more deadly, and Arnold Schwarzenegger was yelling get away from the chopper instead. Number 8. The Pavlo the Pavlo has appeared as a killstreak in a number of Modern Warfare games, and its attack power and effectiveness never seemed to falter. From its first days in Modern Warfare 2 all the way up to Modern Warfare 2019, the Pavlo has been a solid killstreak that racked up a ton of kills. In the original Modern Warfare 2 days, some players would even take the Pavlo over the chopper gunner when going for the nuke. That's how powerful this thing was. It took a lot of firepower to bring down, and it dished out just as much as it could take. Just like the Harrier, the Pavlo was deathly accurate, and would take out an enemy player in seconds. In Modern Warfare 3, it was just as good, and easily one of the best streaks to use, although it did take an extra 3 kills to get, requiring 12 kills rather than the 9 in Modern Warfare 2. It didn't really matter much though, because the sheer number of kills you got from this thing more than made up for the extra work. Number 7. Attack Dogs This is one of my favourite killstreaks of all time. It first appeared in World at War, with it being the highest killstreak you could get with 7 kills. Those were simpler times. Although these dogs took 2 hits to kill an enemy, they respawned indefinitely for the duration of the 60 seconds. They returned in Black Ops where for 11 kills, 4 good boys would spawn in, and then there were 4 in reserve. If these 8 died, no more would spawn in. To compensate this though, they killed an enemy in 1 hit. They returned again in Black Ops 2, where they were pretty much unchanged, and in Vanguard, where only 3 dogs spawned in. Typical of Vanguard to ruin a good thing. I could have included the wraps from Black Ops 3 here, which is essentially the futuristic version of the dogs, but there's a bit more nostalgia in the attack dogs, and dogs in any capacity is always a good thing. Number 6. The Advanced UAV This is one killstreak here that won't directly get you any kills, but it's easily one of the most powerful to use. Its first appearance came in Black Ops, and since then it's been a staple in pretty much every COD game. It takes between 8 to 12 kills to get, depending on the game, and it's called in just like a regular UAV, only this time it's on steroids, and instead of just pinging enemies on the minimap every couple of seconds, it pings and shows the direction they're facing, and sometimes even having constant pings on the enemies. It made an appearance in Warzone 1 and 2. In Warzone 1, you'd have to combine 3 regular UAVs, like their Power Rangers, and in Warzone 2, you can get it by completing a black site. So as you can tell, there's multiple ways to get this, and no matter which way you do it, it's always worth it in the end. Number 5. The AC-130 The AC-130 was first introduced to us in COD 4 in the Death From Above mission, which I put in my worst COD missions video. The reason that mission was bad wasn't due to the AC-130, in fact it was the only good thing about it. We didn't get to control this beast in multiplayer until Modern Warfare 2, and it was glorious. If you heard the announcer scream that an AC-130 was overhead, you knew you were screwed. You just had to accept your fate. If you thought you could prevent it from dominating, then think again, because with its seemingly infinite supply of flares, it could take 4 to 5 rockets from a stinger to take it down. Don't even try to shoot it with an LMG either, because it's way too far away, and your body will be sent to 4 corners of the map before you even realise it's aiming at you. It returned again in Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2019, Cold War, and the latest Modern Warfare 2, and was equally effective as its first edition. Number 4. The Reaper 
The Reaper was forced to introduce to Modern Warfare 3 and was easily one of the best killstreaks from it. The devs clearly saw how much fun the Predator missile was and for 9 kills decided to give you 14 of them with a laser guidance system. The guidance system made it easy to accurately aim the missiles and they hit you as hard as Conor McGregor would if you refused to drink his whiskey. The Reaper flies fairly high in the sky so if you have any pesky enemy streaks giving you a hard time you can take them out easily with the Reaper. There's something just satisfying about using it, whether that be dropping a missile directly on an enemy's head or navigating it in a way that flushes out a camper trying to take cover from you. Black Ops 2 had a similar streak in the shape of the Lodestar, which made the Reaper even more powerful with faster missiles and a larger blast radius. Regardless of which version you use, you'll be sure to rack up a good few kills. Number 3. The Swarm In a game full of incredible killstreaks, it would have to take something special to come out on top. The Swarm did exactly that. It was the most expensive streak requiring a whopping 1900 points, but it's so worth it. You're sure to wipe out the enemy team twice over with the press of a button. The swarm consists of hunter killer drones which target any player or killstreak that they find. So not only is it great for taking out the enemy team, you can also clear the skies of any streaks that they work so hard to get. The only proper way to counter them was an EMP, but realistically nobody is going to hold on to an EMP for the sole event of a swarm being called in. I suppose the streak in a sense works like the attack dogs, only if the dogs could fly and were explosive. Number 2. The Chopper Gunner The second part of the Holy Trinity in Modern Warfare 2 is the Chopper Gunner. It played differently depending on the game. In the OG Modern Warfare 2, you use the thermal image to shoot explosive rounds at your enemies. In Black Ops, they changed it up slightly and gave you control of a Vulcan minigun from out the side of a Huey helicopter. It was pretty much unchanged in Cold War and then came full circle again in the latest Modern Warfare 2. The bottom line is that this is a killstreak that has dominated a number of COD games, whether it be Black Ops or the latest games but nothing compares to the devastation it caused on the OG Modern Warfare 2. There was always a small bit of poop that came from each player when there was an enemy chopper gunner announced. You knew what was coming when you saw the chopper gunner and some guy on the scoreboard with 12 kills and no deaths. Number 1. The Tactical Nuke This is exactly what came next after a chopper gunner. Completing the holy trinity of killstreaks in Modern Warfare 2 was the Tactical Nuke. There's no other killstreak that can hold a candle to it. How could they? This streak in Modern Warfare 2 literally ends the game. There's no streak that could clutch a domination game quite like getting the nuke. Getting this was the ultimate flex back in 2009, although it was a lot easier to get than people made it out to be. 25 kills may seem like a lot, but when you have a hardier and a chopper gunner doing all the work for you, then it's pretty chill. It made a return in later games under different names, such as the Moab in Modern Warfare 3, the KEM Strike in Ghosts, and the V2 Rocket in World War 2. All of these were less deadly than the big bad nuke of Modern Warfare 2, as they wouldn't end the game there and then. Plus, you could no longer rely on your cavalry to do the work for you, because 25 kills was changed to 25 gun kills. Any sweat would stock up on UAVs and advance UAVs to give them the best chance of survival. I genuinely salute anybody who could consistently get nukes in the games after Modern Warfare 2. You are the true Call of Duty god. So that was the list. Did I miss out on your favourite killstreak? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, subscribe and turn on those notifications so your phone acts like a UAV and you get pings whenever I upload. Anyway, I have been Lenny and I'll see you next time.